G'day y'all, it's Colin from PC TLC, and thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to be looking at Zubuntu 21.04 Hirsute Hippo. <laughs> yes, that name again. <laughs> I still can't get used to that. So let's check it out. I was just having a look at some of the changes here, and maybe we should um, zoom that in a bit and have a check this out. Highlights of this release, the window manager received lots of updates and improvements uh, in the area of compositing. Um, if a primary display was set, the old tab dialog will now only be shown there. I'm not quite sure what that means, to be honest. Uh, sometimes I have trouble filtering out what some of these updates are. It's the window manager. We'll have to check that out, see if we can have a look at the window manager. Uh, some handy new options to zoom the cursor along with the rest of the display as well as an option to keep minimized windows in the most recently used list complement this release window manager this one here yeah i can't really say for sure what that uh, update is we can go through the tour maybe that might tell us we added a new plugin to the panel dubbed status tray which combines both status notifier and legacy syst tray items an animated auto hide transition now clearly shows the user where the panel has gone. So I'd have to think um, if we always hide the panel and close that, then it's got a little animation that shows you that the panel's hidden up the top there. But that's what it seems to be to me. Support for fractional scaling was added to display dialog. Settings manager has improved search and filter capabilities. Thunar File Manager received a boatload of fixes. Quite a few notable features, including pause for copy move operations, support for the queued file transfer, remembering view settings per directory, and support for transparency in GTK themes. Thumbnailing service Tumblr became more flexible by being able to exclude paths, and support for .epub, which is the ebook format, was added. Session Manager offers improved support for GPG Agent 2.1 and the setting dialog was visually improved. Power Manager received a lot of bug fixes. The desktop mostly received bug fixes and small improvements and the new default wallpaper. Our menu library Garcon received new APIs and now doesn't launch applications as children of the process hosting the menu anymore. And the application finder now allows for sorting applications by frequency, a combination of frequency and recency. So if we have a look at the XFCE 4.16 tour, um, they've got some new icons and uh, visually a better um, XFCE palette. Uh, new upstream XFCE icons coming in many sizes for sharp appearance. The settings manager itself received a visual refresh of its filter box. So there's the new filter box there for settings manager. Let's just check that out. So if we go to settings manager and look for window manager, so that's what they're talking about there. So this new dialogue represents a merger between the previously available MIME settings and the preferred applications dialogues. Consolidating both in the one place means users have an easier time setting default applications to handle certain file types. Default applications. Default applications. So you've got default applications under here, the MIME type and utilities here and internet here. So sounds like they've all been grouped together. Display dialog uh, to better support high density displays which come in various sizes and densities we had we added fractional scaling based on the r and r extension of x11 the preferred mode of a display is now marked with an asterisk and there we go the display is marked with an asterisk in the corner there i've only got one display anyway keyboard shortcuts uh, in order to make things easier for our users we added more default keyboard shortcuts out of the box for instance for window tiling or to open Thunar, the, the keyboard shortcuts dialog itself was also visually updated. So keyboard shortcuts. So in the keyboard shortcut settings, they now have 
XFCE pop-up whisker menu out of the box. Great to see. So we can now add um, the Windows key to that. So I'm assuming if we double click that, so press a key, Windows key, and then there we go. Beautiful. And they've um, worked on the appearance of that as well. So they've worked on the appearance the visual appearance of that dialog box as well. Thunar's copy and move dialogs users can now easily pause the respective file operations. Um, panel, the panel received quite a few noteworthy updates and animation for auto hide and intelli hide. Yes, we've looked at that already and use status tray plugin that combines both legacy system item support with modern status notifier item support. Dark mode support launches showing additional actions on right click, window buttons offering to launch a new instance and much more. And then you got the status tray items and the animations which I showed you, auto hide animations and launch a new instance. You got a about dialogue and an about XFCE. So let's check that out, the about. Where is that? That must be in here somewhere, about. About me, oh no, is that in the menu somewhere about? About XFCE, there's the system and about, and you got all the uh, information there. So Garcon is a menu library. So system tray is light at the moment. Let's see if we can work on the appearance. Go to settings, check the appearance. We're on Greybird, let's try Greybird dark and we got dark up there so if we open an instance of something and then we right click on here you can launch new instance minimize maximize move resize uh, probably the same with the terminal launch new instance let's do that then we can go through uh, recently used, which is those two. All applications, let's have a look. Accessories, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, settings, they've added Synaptic Package Manager as an advanced um, package manager I read somewhere here uh, new softwares Ubuntu now comes pre-installed with hex chat and synaptic to provide easy IRC communication and advanced package management uh, minimum install you can now install a minimal version of the Ubuntu desktop through the ubiquity installer and a number of user experience tweaks were made on the desktop application menu panel keyboard shortcuts and file manager now the power manager, the settings dialog of the power manager was cleaned up and shows either on battery or plugged in settings as opposed to both in a huge table. Like so, I've only got uh, normal power at the moment. I'm not on battery, so don't know whether I can show you that. So yeah, I don't have the battery there, so that's a hard one to show. Thunar is supposed to remember the view settings for each directory. Uh, so let's go to a view. Well, I don't really have any documents, do I? Control plus is a zoom in, so let's do control plus. So that's under documents. Let's have a look at downloads. We'll do a plain text file, test download. Create folder, test. So that's, um, Control minus for that one and go back to documents. Mm. I'm not sure if that's somewhere in the preferences where we can uh, sort out the uh, view memory, behavior, advanced, display, view settings. Ah, uh, here we go. So we've got uh, view new folders using last active view. Show thumbnails always I put. So let's try that again. So we're in documents and control plus 
go back to downloads and control minus back to documents I don't know I thought it was per directory I'm not quite sure how that's supposed to work we do have some updates so maybe um, maybe we need to run the updates first I should have done that shouldn't I so we'll um, install the updates now and see how we go with that so the software on the computer is up to date. So we'll do a quick uh, reboot, I think, is a good idea. So let's restart that. So just running through all applications, we're just going to be checking out some of the um, icons here, I suppose. It's the icons there. They have good integrated sound settings now in, in um, XFCE itself and it's Ubuntu. Settings, presentation, power manager. So there's your power manager there. Do not disturb, clear log, notification settings, internet there, and your date, of course. So that view has, um, let's go back to normal view. So I thought you could change views per directory it said, but that's changed everything now, hasn't it? Yep. Okay, I'm not quite sure what they mean by that, to be honest. So panel preferences. So you got your panel preferences there. So here you have panel preferences, display, appearance, items. XFCE um, is uh, one of those things where there's very, a lot of their changes are very minor and very subtle. So it's it can be sometimes very hard to find the changes in XFCE. They're making, uh, they seem to be making very good progress. Um, slowly, of course, that's, that's how XFCE works because you don't have many people working on XFCE itself. They're full-time workers, so they just work on it when they can. So that's understandable. I'm a full-time worker. I hardly get time to, to make videos. <laughs> so I can sort of understand that. That's why it's a very, uh, but very positive and very stable operating system is Zubuntu. So let's have another quick look at Window Manager. See what we've got here. Uh, style. Keyboard, Focus, and Advanced. Window Manager Tweaks. Hasn't changed too much in the Tweaks department, I don't think. So key used to grab and move windows is Alt. So if you want to move a window around, if you hold Alt, you can move it around by grabbing it anywhere if you hold the Alt key. So if you you know you if you're not holding the alt key that's what happens hold down the alt key you can grab it from anywhere you like so hold the alt key first and then move it around another little tweak i seen in a comment on one of the real geeks videos was uh, somebody mentioned he did a video about salient os and he was talking about trying to grab the corner of the window to resize and it's quite hard to do that but if you hold down the left alt key and your right mouse button you can resize the window quite easy like so so that's so the left alt button and the right mouse key hold hold them both down and you can easily resize without having to look for pixels so that's pretty handy i must say i didn't know that that's a nice little tip now you got workspaces there placement at the center of the screen it's set on and compositor see this is what i don't like about these you got to use your mouse to drag that down because if you scroll you're scrolling these settings <laughs> that can be quite annoying panel profiles you've got here seems to be the same amount of profiles as there always is yeah it's i'm um, talking about um when i was looking at the if a primary display is set the alt tab dialog will now only be shown there but i've only got one um one display so i'm not quite sure what they're talking about there 
We've got advanced. So the new status tray plugin. Um, let's go to add new items. Uh, status tray. Status tray plugin is not available to add at the moment. I'm not really sure whether um, I need to do something to add that or they haven't fully completed that yet. I'm not really sure about that one. That's the status tray, which is the one they talk about here. The um, status tray items, status tray plugin. The new status tray plugin. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that one whether I need to do something or I need to install it or something. Let's um, have a look at um, Synaptic Package Manager. Let's do a search for uh, XFCE4, say for example, maybe there's a status tray in here we need to install. I wonder if it's under the goodies. I wouldn't think so. So I'm not sure if these two are anything to do with it. We'll install them anyway. I don't know, that's a bit bizarre because they're saying it's something new and it's actually not there. So I find that a little bit bizarre. Maybe they're not finished yet. Add new items. Not still not available. Status tray, maybe it's called status tray. Nothing. Search for status. Wouldn't hurt to install the XFCE for goodies. Let's have a look, see what's in there. Now it's just all the other stuff. No status tray. So the status tray plugin is grayed out. It's not able to be added to the panel yet. I'm not sure if they're not really finished with that. It is under their XFCE 4.16 tour but maybe it's not been added in um, Zubuntu at this point in time. That's probably something to keep an eye out for. So that was Zubuntu 21.04. Very, always very subtle changes in Zubuntu um, in a lot of releases. And don't forget, these are interim releases for nine months, so they don't last that long. So they're obviously working their way towards um, more updates as they go. I just thought I'd try and check the, a, a few of them out, but sometimes uh, the, the changes are so subtle it can be a little bit difficult to figure out where the changes are. But anyway, that's a quick look around the Zubuntu 21.04 desktop. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.